Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and this is just a quick reminder video that tomorrow, Tuesday, July 7th, Alexander Normal is going to be hitting Final Fantasy XIV with patch 3.01. Now, thankfully, they've shared with us a little preview video, a little preview panel on the Lodestone, the official page. And uh, I've actually seen this video already. Somebody was recording this with their phone at Japan Expo, and while I could just barely hear or see what was going on, I just wanted to share kind of my thoughts on this video with everybody i get i've been asked a lot since friday or saturday have you seen the video what did you think of it so i might as well just share what i think of the video itself of the gear while we watch the video and check out the rest of the panel so let's full screen this i'm gonna have the music muted by the way listen i recommend you go and watch the video itself for the music because it's pretty interesting music i'll just i'll just say that just go watch the music trust me trust me go watch the music yeah Go listen to it. Trust me. Go watch the video. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we know how we know how that works. ESRB. All right. So, first of all, I already love the aesthetic. I'm I'm not much of a steampunk guy, but this is strangely awesome to me to see in a in a Final Fantasy sense. So you're running through there, getting hit by the steam, fighting that goblin thing, whatever it is. That boss almost reminds me of like a repurposed Blitzball machine. It doesn't look exactly, but the the small legs with the with the giant body. I actually I really like that. That looks like that's gonna be the first boss. Uh, running through here a little bit, we have rotating, waiting for it to uh, line up before we can go up. I'd imagine that's just it's it's not like a, a random thing. You just it's automatic. Got some of the Illuminati running by. The Illuminati in there. That's a weird weapon for the Illuminati to have. And, oh, well, I'm assuming that's going to be... We've never had a fight where we have two bosses in a, in a raid, have we? No, I, well, I guess Asclepius, kind of. ADS, I guess you could almost consider turn four. It's mostly just a bunch of trash. But, um... And then turn six, seven, eight, nine... Ten, eleven. Yeah, I guess we've never really had a fight where it's like actually two bosses. I wonder if that's going to work the way I think it is, where the bosses share a health bar or they have to die at like the same time or something similar like that. I don't know, but then we saw a, a, a quick uh, picture of the gear at the end. We have another picture of that right here. Now, this actually surprises me. This gear looks like what I would have expected from the final part of Alexander over in like 3.4. The helmets are very Alexander-esque, especially the tanks. I think the tanks... Have the best looking armor here. In fact, it would probably be better if I pulled up the video and just paused it towards the end where the gear is shown. Like right here. Alright, so yeah, look at the look at the warrior on the left, look at the dark knight on the right. And they didn't even bother with the paladin because they're like, no, 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 you guys don't this is gonna be the new best composition. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Just just bring Dark Knight and Warrior, you'll be alright. Um, we have the Astro gear over on the left. We have the Black Mage gear in the uh, middle back right over there. We have the two healers. We have the White Mage and the Astro. I'm a I'm the biggest fan, I think, of the of the tank gear. Like they actually look like Alexander. Everybody else has like either helmet similar, like the Dragoon does in the middle. Like I kind of like the the Machinist one, the Machinist slash Bard gear over on the right hand side, and I can't really see the ninja's face all too well behind his own head the weapons look sick though like all of the weapon i am i'm i love the those aren't even da like i don't even understand why ninjas have daggers anymore they dual wield swords at this point because look at those things the dark knight sword looks really good the astro globe looks good. all the weapons i'd say i actually really like this set now um i was kind of torn whether i like this or the dreadworm set better i think i like this better i don't know alexander I feel like Alexander himself as a primal is an easier primal to make gear that's modeled after it than Bahamut. Because at first when I saw the Dreadworm gear, I'm like, that's so cool. It's got Baham it's got Bahamut's wings. Uh, you know, it's it's got his color scheme. Not really. I don't know. I'm colorblind. That's just me guessing whatever how I thought about it. Um, but this is like, like, I just, I look at the tank here and I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. That is what I would have wanted Alexander gear, Alexander tank gear to look like. So, 
Uh, yeah, we're going to be diving headfirst into Alexander tomorrow. I probably won't be streaming it the day it launches. I'll probably be streaming it within the next day or two. Uh, but Alexander Normal, in case anyone doesn't know, it is the first raid dungeon of Final Fantasy XIV's Heaven's Ward. Uh, it's supposed to be equivalent to the Binding Coil in terms of its place and content. However, it's going to have two difficulties. This Tuesday is going to be the Normal difficulty, which is supposedly equivalent to the to Coil with Echo. Uh, meaning it's supposed to be a little bit easier for people to get through. should be accessible to a wider range of people. Still rewards the gear, as you can see. Um, there's going to be a token system in there, although it is supposedly vastly different from the token system we have for the Extreme Primals. It was so confusing to explain, and we'll just wait for the official patch notes before I explain it. I'll do a video on the patch notes tomorrow. Um... And then we have Alexander Savage in two weeks. It's the same looking gear, but it's diable and it's a higher item level. So yes, Alexander Savage does have more powerful gear. Uh, Esoterics come out with Alexander Savage. A lot of people seem to think Tombstones of Esoterics come out with Alexander Normal. No, they come out with Alexander Savage along with the new blue and red scripts or uh, the new red scripts for both of the gatherers and crafters as well as the new PvP mode. So... Hopefully you're looking forward to Alexander Normal like I am. Uh, looking forward to... <laughs> I'm going to want a lot of gear from Alexander Normal if it all looks like that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the Alexander Normal preview. Hopefully you've gone and watched it yourself right now and listened to that the awesome music, I think. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share to keep up to date with all the latest Final Fantasy XIV news. And I will see you all... I don't know when because I don't know how long I'm going to be in Alexander Normal. I'll see you all next time. We'll just go with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.